what happens when you put six liters of boiling hot water in 10 liters of liquid nitrogen. Now I've done this reaction many times before. I've done it for America's Got Talent, The Today Show, and a ton of live shows. So I'm really familiar with it to say the least. And after our elephant toothpaste experiment, I started thinking about other things we could do with the lifeguard tower and our really large water tank. So this got me thinking. We could use the same equipment, but do a giant colored liquid nitrogen explosion experiment. Now adding color to this experiment is something that I learned from Steve Spangler. He's like the OG science guy. Uh, in fact, I'm putting a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. He's awesome. As a test, that was really great because what we learned is that you can pull this thing with strings into the liquid nitrogen. You still get a really great, amazing reaction. It doesn't have to be taken up and straight down into the liquid nitrogen. And so I feel like we are good. We are prepped to do this. Also, my yard is too small for an experiment of this size. So we're going to head over to the Sway LA house because they basically live in a giant mansion and it is perfect for this experiment. We have Noah and Blake, and I just want to do kind of like a warm-up experiment, a small-scale version of the liquid nitrogen super clouds. I feel like you guys really need to get like a perspective of this before we do a version that's five times as big outside. Yeah. And so okay. we're gonna pour the liquid nitrogen. We're gonna do a five count, five count, five count. Roughly speaking, gonna be like 10 liters in each trash can. As right. long as we don't burn down the house, I'm, I'm fine. With it. If anything, we're gonna freeze the house. All right, so one, two, three, Four, five. One, four. Oh, no, 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 no. What is going on? What is going on? Yeah. Oh, you guys all right? like right around 212 degrees, but when you take it off the flame, it gets down to about 180 degrees. When that makes contact with the liquid nitrogen, which is negative 321 degrees, it instantly vaporizes the water. That creates pressure inside the trash can, and that plumes upwards. And if you look up there, you can actually see oh some of the water God, yeah. that hit that. And so as it keeps condensing like this, it falls <laughs> to the lowest possible spot, and it just keeps rolling out. So this is just water vapor. Like all this is water vapor. And so the same exact thing should happen outside, but a lot bigger. No lag time for this. As soon as the boiling hot water hits the liquid nitrogen, it's like boosh. Even die, actually. Not to scare anybody, but that's, that's a real risk. Anything, we're gonna have face masks, we're gonna have gloves, and we're also gonna be in Tyvek suits. The thing that you're wearing is not a total protective suit. You can get first degree, second degree, third degree burns, essentially, from, from frostbite. We're doing something that no one's ever really done before. This foam is gonna be relatively more dangerous because it's gonna be a lot hotter. So when we see that foam, we're gonna color it red. Red, danger. Just don't jump in front of that. Sounds dangerous. Danger. I'm in. This really So we gotta move a little fast because the bucket's leaking, so. I'm gonna make an announcement. We are now pouring the liquid nitrogen. This is the time frame that I would roll all around for all things not high speed. Oh, Where does this go? Hold, hold. Three, two, one, pull, pull.
got it. Dude, that's sick. <laughs> what in the world? Oh God, that was insane. Oh my God, it was better than Hey, hey, that was so sick. Yeah, you guys got it. 100% did something that no one has ever done before. I looked up and it was taller than the tree. My God. Oh, um, I love you guys so much. Uh, like, you know, it petrified it on the way out. Totally insane, much higher than expected. You guys rocked it. Thank what you. did you guys think? What was what was going through your brain? I was just trying to get out of the way. I didn't want any foam on me, and I also <laughs> didn't want to get uh, frostbite, so that's my reaction. Like, when we first started tilting, I thought the whole ladder was coming down. I thought the bucket was gonna tilt and just come right at us. It was a little nerve wracking. <laughs> and then it started to fall down, I was like, oh. It was so insanely high, I like, couldn't believe yeah, it. Yeah. It was nuts. It's crazy. So they have videos as well. We created a bunch of videos, actually, out of this one size experiment. The link will be in the description below. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you really soon.